just watched a video that broke my heart but made me happy at the exact same time. It was a video of a blind boy who just finished playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time after five years. It took him five years to beat this game. This is my favorite video game of all time. And as I watched this video, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me why I want to get a PhD in neuropsychology. I'm so tired of people's attitudes towards the disabled and towards the sick and the ill. They see, they see a blind person, they see a, a person who is deaf, deaf, they see a person who is in a wheelchair and they condemn them for the rest of their lives and they say, oh, I'm so sorry, that's so sad. That's how you're gonna be for the rest of your life. There's nothing that we can do. You're blind, that's just how it's gonna be. If you're deaf, you won't be able to hear for the rest of your life. If you're in a wheelchair, the neurons in the spinal cord won't grow back because they're severed. That's gonna be your life. They give up on the person. They give up on them. Guess what, guys? You know what all these systems are governed by? Neurons. They're governed by the brain. And where there's a problem, <laughs> there's a solution. So I am here to spend my entire life. I am here to spend my entire life trying to find a cure for these things when I die, when I am in the ground, after my life is over. There should never be a blind person on this earth ever again. There should never be a deaf person on this earth ever again. There should never be a paralyzed person that lives on this earth ever again. Why? Because I'm gonna find the cure. I'm going to get a PhD in psychology. I'm going to unlock the secrets of the brain that people think cannot be helped. I'm going to help you. If you think you cannot be helped, I am here for the rest of my life to help you. I need you to understand that. I don't care what the problem is in the brain, whether it's from the retina, the optic nerve, or whether it's in the visual cortex and the occipital lobe all the way in the back, I will find the problem and I'm going to solve it until I am dead. That is what I am here for. It reminded me, seeing this video, it took this kid five years to beat my favorite game of all time, but he had the courage. He had the courage to continue on, to keep going. That is so admirable. I'm going to spend my entire life doing everything that I can to heal these people so that they can experience the beauty of a sunset, that they can know what it feels like to run, to jump, to hear music. I'm not gonna give up on them like the rest of the world. And shame on you, shame on the scientists for doing so. I'm not gonna stand by and allow that to happen. My name is Matthew Riggi, and I'm going to become a PhD in psychology. And I'm going to do everything that I can to cure these people so that no one is ever blind, deaf, or paralyzed ever again. So when I die, everyone on this earth can have a higher quality of life. Thank you.